Hi gems, it's your girl Ambra and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can tell by the title, it is time for that April's favorites. I do have quite a bit of products in front of me, so I'm not going to waste too much time with this intro, but if you're interested in seeing what I was loving for the entire month of April, crazy. Y'all, literally, in two weeks, I'm about to have a 13 year old. Let that sink in. Just, just, because I'm having a hard time, but <clears throat> let's get this video going. First things first, I really wanted to talk about the accessory that I'm wearing today, you guys. Um, Stella and Dot sent me this to review, and I don't really know if I've talked about this that much on my channel, but I am an accessory junkie. I would go to H&M for one basic item and be like, ooh, let me get these ridiculous earrings and all these bracelets and necklaces and one day I'll use them and incorporate it into my wardrobe. So they were kind enough to send me this necklace. This is the Ezra Statement Necklace. You guys, it is currently on their website. They've been restocking it quite um, a bit of time since I originally got my hands on it, which was like a little over a month ago. Um, I was just waiting for this weather to break here in Washington. Like, it was truly playing me. Sometimes I was feeling spring and fresh and free and then there was days where I was bundled up like it was the middle of December. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys this necklace. Hold on, my chair is playing me. Mm, okay, we're back, we're back. Um, I just wanted to show you guys this necklace, um, you know, just in case you was a little bit distracted. You can see how awesome this is. And I know sometimes your girlfriend's like, oh, let's have a Stella and Dot party. But Stella and Dot really does have some really cute pieces. So if you have a local distributor in your area and they're throwing together a little girl cocktail mimosa moment, go check it out. They're not um, that expensive. I would say that they're probably cost-wise like a notch above Babble Bar, if you guys are familiar with that brand, which is an accessory type brand. Really, really cute stuff. So uh, let's jump into the beauty. Okay, let's just jump into the products. As I've really been loving um, the focus that I've been making on my under eye area. One, I have not been sleeping well. I'm not 100% sure why because my life ain't even that deep that I, I can't be catching them good Z's. But um, we all have our moments and maybe it's that time of the month. I don't know what is going on, but I've really found lately that I have not been caring for my under eye area as much as I do every other aspect of my face. So I got these um, eye hydrating gel mask. Um, it came actually in a get um, a gift with purchase when I was at Nordstrom. I can't remember what month it was, but it came with five packs, um, so five pairs, and it's called Flash Patch. Um, I really love them. They're they're like a hydrating gel. I'm not gonna open this and waste this, so I ain't gonna show y'all. But I will tell you about how I like it um, in comparison to say like the Peter Thomas Roth. They're like 75 bucks. Um, five packs is actually, um, I think it's like a little under $30. I'll make sure to list all the information below. But this is the Anytime Perk Me Up Puffiness, Fatigue, Dryness, Into the Fast Fix for Tired Eyes. Make them drink you, make, make them think you got your full eight hours every day. You just woke up like this suddenly looks a whole lot brighter. And I feel as though this is attested to my under eye area. I always set underneath my under eye every single day because I wear makeup every single day, except most weekends. Um, and because of that powder, I need it because I'm oily combination, as you know, but my under eye is maybe not as oily combination as the rest of my face, but I just don't like to play myself when it comes to like concealing and setting that for the day. So I do like to apply this before I apply um, my makeup for the day. I don't use this at night most times just because I use that Kiehl's Avocado Eye Cream um, to really moisture and work and penetrate at nighttime. So these are really great. I'll make sure to list this below. I've never heard this brand before. They sell it at Nordstrom. Um, it, and it's only five minutes. So it's definitely while you're prepping in other areas, you can throw these bad boys on um, before you start to apply your makeup. I've really, really been loving them and it's way more cost effective in my opinion. Um, and I do find they are way less than 30 bucks, like not Sephora cheap, but actually they are cheaper than Sephora because you get five in a box. I'm gonna leave all that details below. Next, this is actually very old for most makeup artists. If you freelance, um, or if you're just a pro and this is your, like your full time gig, this is the Mac mix and medium. Okay. So as you know, I am a freelance makeup artist and this is a product that I never had in my kit. I never had it. Anytime that I wanted 
to um let's say take a satiny metallic -y color to the next level i just wet my brush and kind of kept it pushing but for oily oily lord for hooded lids i've been watching whether it be Alyssa ashley or another youtuber um i can't remember her name right now she also has hooded eyes and she always talks about how this mixing medium decreases the transfer on hooded lids and i have hooded lids when I say this bad boy was so hard to find, I couldn't find her nowhere on the West Coast. I, girl, I called Canada, okay? They ain't have any. Nothing in New York. I had to call a pro store in Dallas, Texas. And literally, this queen got on the phone and said, honey, we literally just got this product in. So I ordered two. I have one in reserve for my kit. I have one for my everyday use. I am obsessed one thing that um i hated about my lids was just that it always transferred whenever i wore like a shimmery lid and i love shimmery lids like it doesn't have to be a special occasion for me to wear a metallic lid honey so if you guys are out there and you are struggling with that same issue with the transfer definitely try her out i know nyx has a um alternative and much cheaper version as well but um there's something about this mixing medium that i just I kind of wanted to go with the original before I decided to go with like a lower end product for a duplication to see if indeed I can compare the two. But uh, she retails for $18. You can mix it with eyeliners, with shadows, with anything that you need. Um, I highly, highly, highly suggest it for those who have hooded lids. Some even have um, mono lids. These are going to be amazing. This is going to be an amazing product for you. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done you guys I want to talk about a blush palette that I have been using every single day in the month of April where I don't want to overthink it I just need something every day as the transition of the season with spring I kind of want something that's going to be a little bit more you know like I pinched my cheeks and uh, got like a little girlish flirt going on and I love blush I'm not someone that stays away from blush at all I know some people are not blush people this girl is all about the blush. So uh, this is the Morphe 9B palette. She was on sale when I purchased her for $14.99. I think she is originally $19.99. But there are way too many YouTubers out here with the coupon code child for you not to be able to get a couple coins off this palette. Um, what I really love about it is that you're getting those lighter shades. Sorry, my light is a bit bright. You're getting a, 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 those lighter shades of pale pinks all the way to maybe the richer tones of mauve. Um, I love mixing them. I primarily use, and this is, I'm, I have the palette upside down just for the sake of the video and me holding it, but I primarily use these bottom left shades. They don't have names and that's just, you know, the business of Morphe, but the color payoff is amazing. I'm using this hot pink um, blush shade on my cheeks today just because I wanted something a little bit more um, bright and vibrant but it's amazing especially for women of uh, color who have a little bit more pigmentation and melanin and you want something that's going to be just as beautiful I love applying it on the apples of my cheek but then I also follow along um, my contour line as well so get with it Next, we're going to talk about a couple of highlighters. Um, it's it's kind of difficult for me because in the whole month, I use a different highlighter depending on my mood. But I can honestly say for the month of April, I've only gravitated towards these three. One um, was sent to me from Octoly, if you guys are familiar with that. One was sent to me um, from my Elf Beauty Skate family. And then the other one I purchased on my own, but they are Honey, when I say they are beautiful, Tiffle, we're gonna jump right into it. So this is the highlighting, um, illuminating what, gel, cream, I don't know what you wanna call it, from e.l.f. And the one thing I can say about e.l.f, y'all, is that they be trying to play you because they don't put their names on most of their products. But I can't, I can only describe this as like a champagne gold. She goes on through the tube and I'm just gonna rub it in, rub her in. You guys, it is so incredibly beautiful and it just pops on my skin. I do like to apply it underneath my powder highlights. So it's something, it allows something to stick to it and you're just like lit all over. But I absolutely have been obsessed with that one. The next one is the Marc Jacobs. This is in Do You Do Drops, the coconut gel highlighter. You guys, I got this and, um, from Octoly to review. And I was a little concerned initially just because I'm a deeper skin tone. Bruh, that pigmentation. 
I was impressed. Only because I really never used liquid highlighters like that. So for everybody to be coming at me with all these options and really be showing out, it's like it had me a little like, woo, clutch my pearls. And then my last highlighter that I've been loving is Show Gold. This is an extra dimension skin finish from MAC. You guys, let me tell you about her. Let me, I'm going to swatch her for you first. So that's on my finger. Um, she does appear to be very pale, but she, be, she, she definitely sneaks up behind you and gives you a beautiful pink undertone. When I say this highlighter is gorgeous, it is something like no other. I definitely don't have anything that has like that, you know, looks du duochrome. That's what we're going to call it. Kind of appears one way and then finishes another. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have been mixing all of them together, sometimes all in one day. Sometimes, you know, one, one get more play a week than the other. But collectively, they have been just like my crack. <laughs> Next is a hair product, and I'm actually almost finished with this one because I do share this with my teenager, Tibby, um, because he also has length of his hair and he uses the sponge, and you know, he trying to be cute from you know, this little girl. But anyway. Um, this is the Dark and Lovely All Natural Anti-Shrinkage Curl Defining Cream Glaze. This is in the scent uh, Mango Oil and Bamboo Milk and it smells ridiculous. What I particularly love about this product, as you can see we're almost at the end. What I particularly love about this product is that it gives me a nice sheen um, when I apply it. And I apply it mostly around the perimeter of my hair because I'm still using a brush to kind of pull, pull out my coils with my tapered. Um, style here. Uh, I, I just love the way it smells. I love that it still gives me shine and, and definition to my curls. Um, but it's just great because it kind of gives you that sheen all day long so that you're always kind of, you know, exuding really clean, healthy, shiny hair. I just love it. It smells so good and it's just not drying. It has no alcohol, no mineral oils, parabens, or petroleum. So uh, if you guys are not about that dark and lovely on natural line, you need to check her out. Cause she good. I got about just about everything. Leave-in conditioners and everything else. But uh, this right here is probably the first product that we've almost hit gone on and we've emptied out. So definitely good for the babies too. Next you guys is this Brazilian Bum Bum Cream y'all. The... First of all, I ain't even about spending no over $30 for no lotion. It ain't ha it just ain't happening. But uh, this was sent to me from my fine friends at Octoly as well to try out and test. Ooh, if you follow me on that Snapchat, I'm telling y'all, my husband says he can smell me the moment he walks through the front door. And our house, I mean, our house is built in such a way, you walk through the front door, you got to cut some corners before you get to our bedroom. Honey, he can smell me around corners. That's how bomb this is. I am a very ashy sister, so I need something that's going to be thick enough, but not water enough to not play me in the morning. So if I take a shower at night and I apply this all over my body, I'm still very much soft and moisturized and still smelling edible. So if you guys have not gotten your hands on it, try the sample. Look, y'all ain't gonna hold me to spending 50 bucks on something and be like, hey, bruh, why are you telling me to spend $50 on some lotion? I ain't telling you to do it, I'm just saying. If you fall in love with it, I ain't here to judge you because when I run out, I may go out and buy my own. Okay, and Sephora does offer the little small travel size because she's gonna come with me when I go on vacation next month. Next is our lovely girl, Ilara Mercier, medium translucent, medium deep powder. She's a beaut. Um, I'm so excited that L'Oreal came up with a deeper shade. You guys have seen all of these reviews on YouTube and I didn't quite do like a full on in-depth review um, because I just feel like it was overload uh, with all the other channels that you guys probably watch. But I love to use her as my reverse contour powder. Um, when I'm brushing away all the excess highlighting powder, I like to mix her in the bunch. I have mixed her in a separate container with my Sasha Buttercup powder, but I let my girl Natalie borrow that because she's traveling and she needed it, honey, because the East Coast ain't playing with that 70 plus degree weather. She needed it more than me this week. But um, I do, I like to mix this shade with other ones, my AJ Crimson Bamboo. It's just a beautiful satin finish. It mattifies, sets in place. You guys have seen Jackie Anna use it before she applies her foundations. It's just a beautiful, beautiful product. 
Last but not least, you guys, um, this came, I don't even know where I got this from, but maybe it came in my Ipsy bag. Um, one thing that I don't do is I really don't set my brows like a lot of other um, makeup artists and or beauty gurus do on YouTube. I don't, I never think about it. I always kind of fill in my brows, keep it pushing, set my face, roll out. But I've noticed that throughout the day, I just feel like my brows kind of appear a little shiny. Um, and even though you all know I have microblading, um, which I love because then I always got a brow on all the time, but I do like to fill it in just to kind of, you know, bring some uniformity to my grill. Um, but I came across this one. I feel like I came across this at Fred Meyers or maybe it came out, it's, I, I don't know where I got it from. Maybe my Ipsy bag. I'm not 100% sure. But this is Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara by Essence. It dries to a matte finish and I'm in the shade Brownie Brows. But lately I have been using this to set my brows for the day and I'm finding that I'm not getting that shiny brow where it kind of looks like you know end of the day grease face um it, it dries matte so it definitely holds everything into place sometimes I get caught in a little drizzle being in Washington and my brows don't move don't budge don't go nowhere just sit in place and be like all right I ain't gonna play you I know you gotta get to the train station your brows gonna be on point the whole way there the whole way the whole way so uh yeah, I highly suggest you guys check her out. Um, you know, Essence Beauty is in more of like the drugstore level to like your Fred Meyers or your Walgreens, CVS, stuff like that. But um, if there's any of these products that you guys have more questions about, I'll make sure to list them below. I am obsessed with just about every one of these items that they probably will trinkle on to the months to come. And uh, yeah, you guys, May is right around the corner. So I hope you guys are having a blessed spring thus far. There will be more videos coming your way. But until our next one, shine bright. Bye.